Hello everyone, this is Little Black Dragon, and you are watching another installment of Let's Play Dragon Age Origins Dwarven Commoner Edition. In our last installment, uh, we had learned that, uh, apparently, Zathrin had not mentioned to... well, failed to mention a very crucial fact that the werewolves have actually gained the ability to speak, and there may be going on with the conflict between the wolves and the Dela shelves than we were told. Um, although we already sort of suspected this. Um, let's see. There are plenty of other uh, options we could have taken, but that's but that seemed like but cu the curious option seemed like the best. I wanted that elf fruit first. Yes, and I'm off. All right, huh? All right, and I'm off. Going. <laughs> yes, all right, and I'm Be off. Huh? Going, and I'm off. There is a quest item. Watch out! There's dark spawn over there. And there are dark spawn. Oh ah! shit! It's an ogre. All right. Something I can help with? Nothing. Uh, yeah, again. I hate it when I. Really? Gravestone. Oh, and a mystical place of power. Gives an an e Oh, well I guess we have to leave the tombstone alone. Anyway, we were heading towards this quest marker before. Ha! Let's wipe them out quickly! It's an evil tree! Fallen tree. Going. And we got some iron bark. And we can't go this way yet. Because reasons. Let's see, where are we? Besides, we should probably fully explore this part of the forest. Let's go this way. are victorious.
And there is a Sylvan up ahead, but it doesn't look like the rest. But that does. Why are they always attacking me? And I'm off. <laughs> right. Yes. this, I wonder. Let us find out. The Grand Oak. No doubt. Hmm. What manner of beast be thee that comes before this elder tree? Can't you see me? I'm a werewolf! <laughs> oh, that would be hilarious. Can't you see me? I'm a dwarf. Ah, a child of the deeper stone. I should have heard it in thy tone. The woods have never been thy home. Tis far beneath the earth you roam. Allow me a moment to welcome thee. I am called the Grand Oak, sometimes the Elder Tree. It rhymes? Tis a rhyming tree. One can only imagine what manner of spirit is involved here. The world is certainly full of marvelous, unexpected creations. Each day we see something that we never thought possible. Wow. And unless thou think'st it far too soon, might I ask of thee a boon? Um, sure, but... What are you exactly? I am an elder oak and nothing more. Though once I dreamt of a time before, when I roamed the world and howled with pain, not of this world, but twixt and twain. Perhaps I was a spirit then, a wandering thing drawn to this glen. But then that spirit joined with a tree. Since then, a tree is all I be. Hmm. It's... it just seems that the other trees are far more hostile. Of the Sylvans, this is true. They are quite mad. Their virtues few. A spirit trapped within a tree. No mouth to scream or eyes to see. A cage of bark. A prison wood. A thing of rage where nature stood. So twisted Sylvan they become. But I am not the same as some. I accept my fated oaken home. I feel no need to rage and roam. Hmm. Wow. So, Morgan commented on how you speak in rhymes. I'm a bit curious. Why is it that you speak in rhymes? I do not know. Why dost thou not? Thy words seem plain, a mundane lot. Perhaps a poet's soul's in me. Does that make me a poetry? <laughs> <laughs> a poetry? Yes, I get it. It was but a simple jest. A jibe to entertain 
my guest. Hmm. Well, I would like to know more about this forest. I can only speak to what a tree may see. It may not help you, but it is enough for me. Why is this place called the Brazilian Forest, exactly? That is but a human name. One placed upon this land, their claim. A claim they stole from ancient elves, whom they first killed, and were killed themselves. There were elves who lived here? It was the elves who planted the seeds, raised the forest, saw to its needs. But that was all so long ago that they are dead is all I know. What happened here to make the forest like this? A great war, perhaps. I cannot tell. I was not here when it befell. But many deaths here, all the same. And with the deaths, the spirits came. The spirits entered corpse and tree, and most went mad, as thou canst see. The forest had a spirit of its own, from back when its first seeds were sown. Perhaps she died of grief that day, or perhaps she simply went away. Or perhaps the wares are the ones to blame, for the day she left is the day they came. Interesting. But I don't understand. I speak as clearly as I see. Plainer than this, I cannot be. So, you're saying that the spirit of the forest itself might be connected to the werewolves? Is there anything around here of note? Most of what was is overgrown, leaving only broken stone. Perhaps some ruins remain free of rot. I know not where I see them not. Do you know where Weatherfang's lair is? In the center of the forest, the wares do dwell. Or so go the tales my fellows tell. But they cannot be followed there. The forest doth protect the wares. Why do the trees protect them? Perhaps wares use magic to command the trees. All I know is they move as they please. Is there any other way to get to the center of the forest? Perform the boon as I ask, and I shall reward thee for the task. I have but one desire, to solve a matter very dire. As I slept one early morn, a thief did come and steal an acorn. An acorn? All I have is my being, my seed. Without it, I am alone indeed. I cannot go and seek it out. Yet I shall die if left without. Well, if I find this acorn for you, I suppose you could help me get further into the forest to find the werewolves. Very well, I will help you. Go to the east to find this man. I shall await. Do what thou can. Alright. So we're going to help a tree get its acorn back. Sounds rather silly, but that's what we're doing. Onward! But actually, with that, we are out of time. So I'm going to save the game and cut off here. 
but I will see you all on the next installment of Let's Play Dragon Age Origins Dwarven Commoner Edition. Like, subscribe, comment, or favorite, whatever suits your fancy, and I will see you all in the next installment. I'll see you next time, folks. Thanks for watching.